Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. We had a huge broccoli harvest today from our garden. Uh, we're going to show you how to blanch and freeze this so it'll be good for months and months and months. So stay tuned. That's a lot of broccoli. As you see, we, we've got quite a few here. This is a 188 quart cooler and uh, it's running over. Some of these heads are, uh, you know, bigger my bigger my hand. So we're gonna show you how to prepare them and blanch them. All right, I'm gonna show you how I clean my broccoli. First thing we're gonna do, this is this already been washed. They were real clean when we got them. We're just gonna put them over. This is gonna be our waste pan. This is gonna be our uh, broccoli pan. We're just gonna take our small little pear knife and go in here and cut all the flowerets off of it. Start with the lower ones, kind of work your way up to the top. You want to try to keep these all uh, near the same size, you know, edible portions. Um, get them all off there, that's fine. Now you end up with this thing here, which is, some people throw away. It's a really good part of the broccoli. We'll just, um, real quick, just trim some of the uh, stems that are poking out really long. Maybe give that another slice. All right, and then you can peel this. It's very good, and very edible. Just grab it, this bark between your knife and your thumb. Kind of hard to get started sometimes, but once you get started, it makes it a lot easier. And you can just pull that bark right off of the broccoli, and it comes right up the stem there. Ooh, that one went flying. It's really crisp. Like I said, we just picked this an uh, hour ago. But get a hold of that bark and just pull it till you go all the way around it. You got it all off, and we'll just take it over here with the pair of knife, slice it into quarter inch slices, and that'll uh, go right into the rest of our broccoli. Here's our large tub of prepared broccoli. So that's ready to be blanched. Okay, here's our large pot, rolling boil water, a um, couple tablespoons of salt in that. Right next to it, in a very conveniently located position, is a cooler full of ice water. We, you know, we're doing a lot. So, this 20 pounds of ice with uh, 20, maybe 10 gallons of water in it. So that's going to be our refresh station for these blanching broccolis. Do a smaller batch. You don't need that much, but you know, make sure you have a large container of ice water standing by. We'll get ready to do it. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be a very short blanch time. We have a full rolling bowl on that. Then go ahead. We're just gonna toss maybe two large handfuls of the broccoli in there. We put in we lost some. We'll have to wash those. Put even more of that in there at a time. It'll take forever to come to a roll of bowl. We also have over just next door. We have our stopwatch ready to go. And we got a buck, so we'll get them out of there. So as soon as this comes to a, a boil, we're gonna start the stopwatch. And as you see for this, we're using clean burning efficient propane, as Hank Hill would say. Okay, that's coming to a boil. So we're gonna go ahead, start our stopwatch. Since these pieces are pretty big, yours may not be this big, we may let these go around 45 seconds. Not much longer. While they're going, I'm just gonna take this big dipper and I'm gonna keep them turning at least a couple of times while they're going, just to keep them uh, blanching very evenly. All right, we hit the 45 second mark. It's cooler. Closer. Go ahead. Take them straight out of the hot water. Let them drain a second. Right into the ice. Okay, that's going to cool them immediately and stop the uh, cooking process. So this is not cooking. This is blanching. So. This water will just keep getting richer and richer as we keep cooking it more and more of the broccoli. So we'll go ahead and put some more in. Just keep uh, blanch, 
chill, repeat. In this case, gonna be here all night. Okay, I'm gonna show you how we package these up. We use a high barrier bag. This, these are bags you can order online. These are a pouch type bag. They're impermeable to oxygen and water. So we just open them up and basically just hand fill them. These are completely chilled now. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, drop a portion sized uh, amount of broccoli. We'll tap them down in there. We've got some stems, some flowerettes. You just wanna mix them all together. Whatever you got there. Here we're going to go ahead and just zip. We're going to push some of the air out, but we don't want to crush the broccoli. We don't want to crush it. So a vacuum packer will just uh, try to vacuum pack these. It'll crush, the, crush your uh, your broccoli. So next step, we're going to heat seal this so that we're getting sure it's 100%. Okay, here we have our impulse sealer. I uh, strongly recommend that for anybody who's prepping or storing food for long-term um, storage. It's not expensive, 38 bucks online. I got this one. This is a very heavy industrial use grade one. It's all uh, steel, it's not plastic. Um, been using it a couple years, no problems at all. Just gonna put the edge of that bag on the, uh, this has a the tear um, notches in it, so it makes it easier to open. When you get ready to use it, we're just gonna put the very edge of the bag on it. This is already, set to seal that bag perfectly. I'll show you that on this end here. It has a dial where you can dial it in for the perfect setting for whatever bags you're using. Uh, the Mylar bag ones will need a little bit higher setting, but just experiment. These bags we already figured out work perfect on four. So there is a perfectly uh, sealed and preserved and blanched uh, bag of broccoli for a future Backwoods Gourmet meal episode, uh, gonna be awesome. Okay, the final step for this guy here is to go in the deep freeze. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find a place in here among all the other veggies, fish, and other things that we have in here. We're gonna go ahead, these bags, see that they, they sit nice on the shelf. I'm gonna let him uh, go ahead and deep freeze in there good for months.